Hello. Hey guys, this is Bethany Drew here with Stampin' Up! in Valparaiso, Indiana. And it is July 1st. Oh my goodness, how is it July? It definitely feels like July, right? Um, I've already gone for a walk. I've been walking a little more regularly, but try to do it early, early, because it already felt humid at whenever I went, 8.30 or something in the morning. Hey, Holly! Um, and yeah, the boys have been begging me to go to a pool today, um, but I had my video to do today and I had other things to do and watering the garden and new grass that my husband planted. So I am just impressed that any of you would make it live because I understand in the summertime, it's even more difficult for me to get here. <laughs> so, um, but, um, and I was very thankful that I'm doing ki kits and I'm going to show you a couple of our new kits because then that's not quite as much preparation for me because they are so beautifully put together and that's where I want to show you the joy of our kits because um, they really are Stampin' Up! does the work for you stuff is pre-cut pops right out there's die cut pieces and so easy to put together a really cute card um, but hopefully I'll show you you can do even more with it beyond um, just what they show you in the kit so um, so that's what we're going to focus on today is a couple of new kits. I'll show you a little bit from um, Paper Pumpkin, the ones that I got finished, because they were really easy to put together. Um, and I've been working on, um, what, is that Jacob's? Yeah. I guess. <laughs> um, got kids asking me, can they use Chromebooks and whatnot. And I'm okay with it. They've been outside plenty, but it is hot and humid, so I'm really okay with my boys being on, having some screen time in the air conditioning. Are you guys so thankful for air conditioning these days? Woo! I feel like I'm kind of sweating and I'm inside in the air. Um, anyhow, I'll show you a few things that I made from Paper Pumpkin. We will do a drawing too. Holly, you're, you're going to be in the drawing for all of you great people who shared my video last week. Um, I did say someone would win a free kit from me, so we will, I'll have one of the kids help me do that later as we get a few more people on. So, um, and sorry if I'm slightly distracted too, my husband left with my son, he's playing baseball right now, so my husband's trying to give me little updates too on the game. <laughs> so, I'll try not to be kind of watching those, but, um, oh, thank you, Holly. I'm so glad I can inspire you, even though some days, whew, like I said, it's a little bit of work for me to get here, but um, I'm so happy. I so enjoy and appreciate you guys who come visit me. Uh, if you're watching me later in the replay, hello, you are free to make comments and ask me questions. Um, and if you watch me on YouTube, please like my page, subscribe to me on YouTube. I would so appreciate that too. I think I'm up to about like 50, 50 subscribers. Woo! So, would love to have more. Um, so, without any further ado, let's look at some of the awesome kits that Stampin' Up! has. They really are wonderful. So, I'm going to turn around here. And this time, I think I got it right and figured it out. Sorry, a little bit shaking. I don't know my phone in here. All right. Centered that so I know. I'm going to actually... Sorry, there's going to be a little bit more shaking. I'm going to bring this down a little bit. Maybe have you a little bit closer to me. Okay. First off, the Paper Pumpkin. Um, there are quite a few of you I know who subscribe to Paper Pumpkin already. It is an awesome kit that is already pre-scored, pre pre-cut, has pieces for you uh, for $22 a month. Um, and that includes the shipping, so I think it's an awesome deal, really. Um, comes shipped right to your door automatically um, after you subscribe. Uh, the best thing, too, is it gives us a little clue what's coming. And if you are, like, you know, if you looked at this kit, which I couldn't even imagine, they just kind of showed, um, they gave us a little glimpse of sunshiny colors. Um, so you don't exactly see what you're going to get, but they tell you whether it's cards or little favors or whatnot. And you can go into your account, and if you do it before the 10th of the month, you are able to suspend a month if you're like, oh, I just can't do it this month, or 
if what it sounds like is like, eh, I think I could pass on that one. So I love that they give you the power to uh, to skip any month that you want, and that's really nice. Um, but look at how cute some of these cards turned out. I love the, the watercolor background on these cards. I love sending you sunshine, the little sunshine, and they already had the foil coming out like the sun rays, a little hello. I followed pretty much, but I did some different, like this, this card design showed the lemons, um, and I did a little something to brighten your day, but then I also, that we've got extra pieces in here, so I used um, the pineapple on here, and uh, another You Are Loved, I did, a, I showed you this one last week, where I stamped the sun in the background, and another little hello. So these were fun and easy and fast to put together. You've already made yours, and yeah, I know. I've I've got to send these out to people, and I did. I'll show you real quick. Um, I am also going to stop by a friend, some family friends who um, they lost their they lost their 19 year old son this last March, just before everything was stay at home. So I asked her what some of their fa favorite, because she has two more kids who are teenagers. So I'm going to give them this box and deliver it to them. And it's filled with bright goodies. Um, with some gummy things. She said Nerds was one of their favorites. With some M&Ms. Um, and then I even used some of the extra things. This is packed pretty tight. I used one of the extra little pineapples. Um, and, and used, I cut some of the tissue paper to wrap around some candy bars, so they will get that little fun. From me, and I was so excited to be able to do something like that. I love that Stampin' Up! likes to help us um, think of others. So if you did get that, I hope you filled out your beautiful, bright, sunshiny box and maybe... Uh, mailed it to someone, or if you're going to just hand deliver it, then you don't have to pay for the shipping for it either. Um, but I thought that was a great idea. I love it. Holly, I'm so glad that you've already sent out some of yours. Um, I have I have ones to send out to. Because I'm sure we could all find people in our lives that need some sunshine, right? In their lives. Okay, so that's Paper Pumpkin. Um, it's July 1st now, so if you did still want to subscribe to Paper Pumpkin, you'd get the July kit, um, which is going to have some cute little note cards and then little um, kind of whimsical boxes that you could put lights in or do something with for a summer party. Um, but now in the annual catalog, if I can find my, find my catalog, where did I put my catalog? Sorry, I'd left my catalog somewhere else. Um, in the catalog, close to the beginning, it talks a little bit about Paper Pumpkin first, um, but then it shows us some of the, um, the kits that they have available for us to order right now. And one of them is this Simply Citrus. So this is an all-inclusive kit, so it's similar to the Paper Pumpkin, but you just order it for $32. It's 15 cards. And it comes with a little stamp set. Um, it comes with a little block for you. And a little ink spot. So it really, that's why it's called all-inclusive. Because it comes with everything you need. Um, and it's just such, these are cute, bright, bright, sunny colors. I love it. Um, here is another kit that I'm not showing you today. But um, again, another all-inclusive kit. So it has, the stamp set is included in there. The, um the block to stick all your stamps on. Um, I love that they come with fun um, envelopes and stuff too. are great. And then the other kit that I'm going to show you today is this gorgeous Posies. Hey Teresa! Hope you're having a good day today. Um, so this gorgeous Posies one is a little bit different because it's a project kit and it comes in this beautiful box. I'm telling you, it's so pretty. 
and then it comes with all the supplies you need except it does not come with the stamp set um, so it's one that you could use all the pieces and use your own sentiments um, if you are like oh I have plenty of my own stamps you don't necessarily need the stamps um, or if you really love the stamp set that goes with it this one's called gorgeous posies and it has a get well soon wishing you comfort and peace celebrating your day for a very kind and thoughtful friend um, so it's got some other pieces in there that you could bu you could buy um, and have on hand now this July I'm also going to be offering if you get a kit especially a bonus to you if you order through me because um, a few days in July I will be open for an appointment if you want to get a kit and come stamp it with me um, then you could just buy the $32 kit and you could use my stamp set if you wanted to use that and stamp it all together at my home then you could put all your cards they fit nicely in the box and take them home and you wouldn't have to actually purchase the stamp set so you could actually use mine and get all your pieces and cards put together at my house and I'll talk more about that later um, so starting off with the first kit, which is the um, all-inclusive kit, simply simply citrus. I did want to show you because um, all of the kits will come with instructions, so it shows you the pieces that you need for your um, each card. So you can do it exactly the way it's um, it shows you in the directions. It gives you a whole sheet of dimensionals, which you guys know I love dimensionals. It gives you a bag of these cute little vellum flowers. You get a stampin' spot and it comes with Knight of Navy ink, which I have my own ink pad. It, you get a whole sheet of glue dots on there. And then it comes with all the pieces that you just have to pop out and they're just die cut. They pop out really easily. All the pieces that go with your card are really awesome. Now this is one that I stepped up a little bit, so if I show you, where did I put it? If I show you, this is the card that it, it was supposed to look like right here, but what I did was I used all the same pieces, but I just added a piece of Calypso Coral cardstock, and I ran it through my one of my tile embossing folders. So I only added one more thing, but that's where if you want to make that change them up a little bit, if you have other cardstock and stuff, you can also do that. And then I also stamped the lemons um, in the bumblebee um, on over the just a note there. So cute. So um, <clears throat> so just to show you, let's look at a couple of the designs. Um, this one is super super simple because you just add, uh, let me find all my pieces here. Here's all the pieces um, that you're gonna stamp your sentiments on. And those pop out easily. So that was that design. Let's look at this one. The one with the green polka dots shows that you use this one and you could keep it just like it is with the fruit but I noticed afterwards um, it it actually looks like they want you to outline the fruit and stuff with your navy so I'm gonna show you how to do that because it's photopolymer stamps I've got my navy ink pad here open and you have your photopolymer stamp set that you can ink up and if you just line it up over the little pies pieces it doesn't have to be perfect but you can kind of see right where you're stamping and you can outline those fruit. So again, you don't have to do this. 
It's optional, but I do like how it kind of brings out the fruit. Isn't that fun? Now you could leave it like that again, or you could keep going with um, borrow a little block here. Or you could also do the outlines of the, the leaves as well, which I'm going to do because I don't think it's going to take too much time. Again, if it's a little off, it's fine. It doesn't have to be perfect. For you people who like everything to be perfect, I'm telling you, it doesn't need to be. People will still think, oh, that's so cute, even if it's a little off. So isn't that cool, adding that little navy border? Hey, Rachel. <clears throat> Any of you guys have pools that you have in your backyards or that you get to have access to? Today is a pool day, isn't it? I'm glad I've, I've been going for my walks super early because I, I don't want to be hanging outside for too long right now in this heat, heat, heat. My Aunt Kathy said her air conditioning had gone out yesterday, but they're getting it fixed. Hey, girl. Oh my goodness, my... My phone is already saying it's dying. I so need a new phone, I think, guys. Oh my goodness. I like recharged it an hour and a half ago so that it was at full full capacity phones, I'm telling you. Okay, so now that I've done the little outlines of the fruit and the leaves, um, which didn't take a whole lot of time, it's you also get a whole thing of this cute calypso coral twine, which is fun. Um, it shows it tying around the whole bottom of the base of the card, but I think I'm going to um, tie it around this piece. And I might even let it go around twice. So again, you could, this is where it's fun because you have the liberty to do exactly what they say. If you like to just copy, that's fine too. Um, or you can mix it up a little bit. I like the idea of tying it around this piece. And I'm probably using about the same amount as I would tying around the whole card. Now, if you're struggling with tying bows with twine, um, I'm trying to hold it there. Sometimes I tie a knot first before I tie the bow because then that's holding it together and it's not quite as messy or loose. And then I am not as worried about making my bow. All right. I've got my Knight of Navy ink all over my hands. Look at that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I know. Sometimes people don't like tying. That's where, if you come to my house to do kits, I can tie bows for you. I know there's a few, few of my friends who appreciate me tying all their bows <laughs> for them. Um. So I'm going to pop four dimensionals behind this piece. So that is always a bonus, too, of coming to my house for um, Oh, Rachel, you, you're thinking about getting a pool? I know. Days like this, I want to talk to Joe about getting a pool. I think it was Amy who was telling me um, that sh she has a friend who got a an above ground pool but they dug a hole in their yard and made it make it made it an in ground pool. <laughs> I was talking to Joe about that. I was like, could we do that? 
He looked at me like I had four heads. Um, I know. Pool's, pool, it's a catch-22, right? Because it is extra work. But man, the kids would play in it all day. I just know it. But then so would our neighbor. Neighbors, too. Which could be a good and a, I don't know. It could be pluses and negatives to that, right? Okay, so then you just have this piece that you can either tape down or... Again, if you're lazy, lazy crafter like me, often the dimensionals just go on because then it's so much faster. And I kind of like how it just pops up. Let's see, I don't want to cover up that. Well, maybe I will. It's still cute even when you're covering up one of those cute fruits. Okay, the, these have a little bit of stitching in them. Um... I'm going to stamp, let's see, does Hello Sunshine fit in there? No. How about Thanks for Being You? I like the Thanks for Being You. And let's see, it's already got a navy, navy strip. I'm going to use Calypso Coral because that's another one of the coordinating colors. Ink that up. Thanks for Being You. A great, cute thank you card. I do love the Just a Note one, too, and there's also the Hello Sunshine. Um, so there's a lot of cute sayings in this one, too. But don't you love just the bright colors? I love the colors on this kit. They're great. Stick that on there. And voila, you could be done, or you could add with your glue dots that you get. I'll take three of these flowers out. Remember when I've said if you want to make these last a long, go a long way, you only need three of these. When you use rhinestones or little accessories, putting them in like a little triangle is the best way I like I like doing that. I'm going to put one right by the U. Let's see. Put one here in the corner. So I feel like you're going to see it a little bit better on the dark colors. But I like vellum accents because they're subtle, but you still... No, they're there. See, I'll put that right in the center of that fruit. One, two, three. Isn't that cute? Thanks for being you. And so, again, these kits are designed so that even, you know, if you have grandkids who like to stamp, or kids, your daughters, um, even your sons who like to kit, like to stamp or be creative, um, these are nice and easy for beginners. Um, I love the big, bright, bold patterns, and uh, this this one just you would stamp a sentiment, tie the knot around it, and super fast. I love it. Um, now I wanted to show you with this same stamp set some fun that you could do um, with just the stamp set. So once you're done with all the kit pieces and you've done what they've shown you you can do with it, um, it's even more fun to just continue to use your stamp set and make make lots of different cards with it. Um, let me get my chamois. I'm telling you, if you do not have our Stampin' Chamois, it's only eight bucks and it's awesome. It's quick and easy to clean your stamps. I love it. Um, all right, I'm going to show you embossing because embossing is so much fun and emboss resist. Now I can't find my little stampin' buddy, but that's okay. Now I'm gonna stamp the little fruits in my Versamark pad. So again, this Versamark pad is just a sticky, 
sticky substance that my white embossing powder is going to stick to. So there's some fruit. I'm going to put the lemon on there too in a couple places. And maybe one more. Four times. And then I'll even do two diamonds. Hang on. Forgot to clean that first. So that's going to come off. Oh, I even did clean it, but you're still going to see a little bit of blue. That's all right. All right. So I've stamp the leaves, the lemon, and the little citrus fruit in the Versamark pad. Now, we'll sprinkle it with the embossing powder. Gotta love embossing powder. Now when I'm doing this big piece, I usually will use, you can get these little spoons at uh, like an ice cream place, but just little sample ones, even though most ice cream places aren't doing samples right now because of COVID-19. This helps me just kind of coat over all the fruit. I want to make sure it's all good and covered. I was going to mention too, this paper is our shimmer, shimmer white cardstock, so it has a little bit of sparkle to it already. I, I use this paper a lot because it's so fun and sparkly and it is fun. Um, it's easy to watercolor on and manipulate so I really like the shimmer white. Now I'm just kind of wiping off. I'm seeing where there's extra. You could use a little brush or something to wipe off the extra um, embossing powder. I'm just using my fingers right now. Cover that up. Now it doesn't look like much right now. Yeah, you do want to you do want to cover back up your ink pads so they don't dry out. But most of ours are pretty good. All right, now I'm going to go over and heat this. I feel like when I walk away and I make you wait, I'm singing the uh, Wheel of Fortune tune in my head. Isn't it Wheel of Fortune that goes do 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 I seem to hum that in my head when I'm making you wait. All right. Now, this is where we can have fun and mix and match and use whatever colors you want. Um. I'm going to use Daffodil Delight because it's bright. You know, even though Calypso Coral is in the, is a color that coordinates with the stamp pad, but I think these colors will look really pretty together too. So I am going to use these two colors. All right. One I will use, I'm going to use a sponge and a sponge dauber. You thought you lost me? Yeah. Sorry, this, sta this new stand I couldn't take you over with me to uh... Alright, so with my sponge dauber, I'm going to ink up 
my Daffodil Delight color. And I'm trying to think. I'm not sure if I want to do just over the lemons or do kind of an ombre. What do I want to do? I'm, I'm just going to go over the lemons here. So right when I sponge over what I've embossed, and I have this for, uh, the embossing powder resists what I have stamped. Isn't that fun? And then I can use my Calypso Coral on my citrus fruits here. I might end up filling in the rest of the space with my Calypso Coral. Start dark on the corners. And I will do, I think I'm going to do some green over the leaves too. So I'm pressing darkest over the centers of the fruit. Trying to get some of the colors to blend together. I'm going to use another sponge dauber with a green. What green should I use, guys? What do you think? How about granny apple green? Does that sound like pretty bright green? Like that. Okay, I'm pressing pretty lightly at first here on the green leaves. And now I'm going to press a little bit darker. Isn't that fun? How fun is that? Thanks, Teresa. Yeah. Because then you could just add it on, add it onto the front of a card and stamp one of your sentiments, whether you want it to be thank you or whatnot. But well, how cute to make um, just something totally different with these same fruit, um, a very, very different way to use your stamp set. So our embossing powder is awesome. I love white on white because it does this uh, embossing resist technique is just so much fun. Um, I'm actually going to save that piece for later because I'm going to do a different card with the purple po or the gorgeous posies um, kit. So let's look at the gorgeous posies kit. Now this kit, like I said, came in that cute box. Um, and it makes, this makes 16 cards. The all-inclusive one made 15 cards, but comes with a stamp set. This one makes 16 cards, so there's four designs of four different, so four cards of four different designs. Um, they all come with these pretty purple, two-toned purple envelopes, which are so cute. And here's one that I already put together following pretty much what it showed to do on the card. Um, but it's so much fun. So again, with these kits, you can follow, and I love the pretty, can you see how sparkly that is? The, there's gold foil accents on there. It's so pretty. Um, you can follow exactly how it goes, or you can mix and match. Like this green piece is supposed to be on the other green base, on the green card. But you could be a rebel if you don't want to follow, if you don't want to follow the, uh, Follow the leader and be your own person. <laughs> um, so here, I, I kind of like the light green on the light purple. I think that's pretty. And then it comes with 
all the envelopes, all your pieces, all your card bases are already scored for you. All these little pieces um, pop right out for you. Uh, this one, let's see, it takes one of these longer pieces. These pieces are already just pop out for you and already have this pretty little like laser cut pieces on them, which is so pretty. Isn't that gorgeous? So I couldn't even tell you which one was my favorite here because these are really more pastel -y, light, pretty, romantic colors, and the other ones are bright, happy, uh, more summery and bright colors, um, which is why I usually get it all. <laughs> um, this works with Highland Heather and Gorgeous Grapes, so two, two of our purples. Um, I think it said the Blushing Bride, too. Um, I used Gorgeous Grape on here, so let's see what Highland Heather looks like. It comes with a sentiment that says, wishing you comfort and peace at this time. I love that sentiment. Again, wow, what a perfect sentiment right now for anybody at this time. But especially people who have maybe lost a loved one during this time. So much harder, right? So pretty. Wishing you comfort and peace at this time. You do have to be careful if you see I've got a little line there that you don't rock your stamp because then you do sometimes get a little blurb. Um, but now all I have to do, since I stamped my one stamp here, is add just a little bit of the flowers so I can add, this one's already popped out for me a little purple and a little pink flower on the side and a couple of the let's do one one single one and one double flower or leaf I think you get way more than you actually need for all the cards so you'll have extra pieces that you can make which is kind of fun and this paper or the the ribbon that comes with it too is gorgeous. It doesn't really look very much like when you pull out, but you get a whole thing of purple twine. I think it's Highland Heather, and this ribbon's all folded up, but it really is quite a bit of ribbon. Um, if you cut just little pieces, it, it's going to go for a lot more than I usually make my ribbon last a lot longer than. Just the cards. Oh goodness, knocking things over. Um, so I usually make, but are you a rebel, Teresa? That's funny. I'm kind of a rebel too. I like mixing it up just a little bit. Okay, so this ribbon, look at how pretty this ribbon is. It's got like satiny edge, kind of a mesh middle, and two little gold strips on it. It's so pretty. Love it. Um, so I'm just going to make this go kind of the length of the card. That's already cut pretty well. Um, and usually when I want to leave, I, I will open up my hand, and so I'm not even measuring, I don't know what this is, but I usually measure if I want to make a little bow um, from fingertip to fingertip when I open up my hand, um, which is kind of how I gauge when I just want to make a bow um, I'm tying it by itself and not tying it around anything um, usually that measurement works for me just using my open hand and then I can stick that little bow somewhere closer to the end so you want to kind of put, well, let's tape this down first. Use my stamp and seal. Again, with the new stamp and seal, I'm, I'm barely pressing it all, really lightly touching it on. And you do want to make sure your card is opening up the right way. You don't want to upside down, right, Teresa? <laughs> no upside down cards. <laughs> <clears throat> I know sometimes I do that too. So 
sometimes that's a reminder to me then check to make sure you're, it's, it opens up right before you start taping things down. All right, I'm going to add a couple of them, or glue dots. Glue dots are the best with ribbon. This is um, the glue dots that don't come when you just order glue dots that don't come with the kits. It's on a big roll like that. It's like 300 glue dots. It's awesome. And I really do love using my glue dots too, especially with ribbon, like I said. Okay, so I'm going to put that ribbon there, and then I'll put this piece down. I want to pop that up with dimensionals. And see how fun when you were over <laughs> I know, and I was going kind of fast, Teresa, too, with that one. I'm glad you watched the replay, and your but your cards turned out beautiful, Teresa. They were gorgeous. I really do love, if any of you make cards, I love when you share things that you've made on my page. Feel free to share things that you have made. It's always inspiring. If I'm not the only one who can inspire. You guys can inspire, too. See, I'm going to put the big leaves over on this corner, I think. All right, you see how I made that little... There's usually... I try to tell my customers, usually there's a way to cover up. I made that little oops mark. So I'm going to put a dimensional on these little, little extra flower accents. And I'm going to cover, boop, right over my mistake. Love it. Isn't it awesome when you can cover up a mistake? <laughs> and no one ever knows. But even if you can't cover up a little mistake like that, seriously, usually I don't worry about it. If you send a card made with love, people are like, oh, thank you. They don't look at the little blunders that you make. They're just thankful you sent them a card, right? At least I wouldn't care about a little, a little blunder. When it's made homemade, it's awesome. All right, so I'm going to stick that little leaf there. And aren't those fun? These little extra pieces that just pop out, they're awesome. Because they're so fast, just add. Literally the only stamping I did was the one sentiment on there, right? And then the rest is just putting your extra pieces that you got in your kit. Super, super easy and fun and so cute. There. And you add those extra little flowers on it and wishing you comfort and peace at this time. Who wouldn't love a beautiful card like this at this time? Oh my goodness. Isn't that fun and pretty? So again, um, that's $32 for the kit. But if you want to come stamp at my house, you can just pay for the kit and then you can borrow my stamp set um, if you don't want to actually get this. Oh, I forgot to add. Um, if you want to come to my house, then you could just use my stamp set. But if you love the stamp set and have to have that, well, then you can make even more with the stamp set. I forgot to add my little bow here. Can't forget that. That's where it's fun to have the mixed, um, and I just put that on a blue dot too. So it's, have, it's fun to have the mixed, the pretty linen ribbon, and then a little bit of twine on there. It's fun. Trim that down just a little bit. There, even more pretty. <laughs> um, prettier, I should say. Okay, so there's just one of the designs I showed you earlier. Here's was a second design. Again, really pretty. You're just stamping on these already laser cut pieces that just pop right out for you. So that's so nice too. In these kits. Like I said, Stampin' Up! has done the work for you, and um, you can be so like so proud of the creation you made and send it to someone and say, yeah, I made that. That's what I love about these kits. They really are fabulous, guys. Um, and I think they're, they're so affordable. 16 cards for $32. You go to a store, and um, cards are at least 4 four to $6 right now, aren't they? 
I love the kits. They're nice and easy. Um, so th that's a couple designs that already, like, if you want to follow the directions and do kind of what they say, they're really easy and fast to put together. Um, or you can use your stamp set because here we're not, we didn't even use the flower very much. Um, so with different colors now, um, let's make a different card and let's use some different colors too. This is, that's more purples. Um, so let's use Coastal Cabana. That's one of my favorite colors. I love this. Stephanie, hi. Late as usual. You're fine. You can go back and watch the replay too. You're going to want to get all of these kits, Stephanie. With, um, in fact, I love that one, one of my, um, one of my clubs is a kit club and you just order, order a kit and come and at club, everyone gets to put together their kits. Now, if you see my, my ink pad is really juicy. I'm stamping off first on my scrap paper and then I'm stamping on here because this is kind of a distinctive stamp set. Um, when it's that distinctive, it's nice to, you don't want your ink pad to be too juicy. So I'm pressing really lightly on my scrap paper first and then pressing fairly hard onto my paper. Isn't that fun? Isn't that a pretty flower? Um, then we can add with a different color. Let's see, I love greens and pinks together, or purples. So let's add some Highland Heather. This little dotted stamp comes with the stamp set too. So let's just put some dots in the center. So this is where, similar, you could do something like this with the Simply Citrus fruit too. Um, just making a background, starting with, if you just have Whisper White cardstock. Um, so you, I'm trying to think of ways, you know, so you're not overwhelmed. Um, though just getting the thick white cardstock is a great um, purchase. Let's see, since I did Highland Heather, let's even do a darker purple and use this for the center of the flowers. I'm not even sure if that's, if it's supposed to be the center, but that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'm stamping off again, and then stamping in the center. Oop, one more. And that is the gorgeous grape. And then there is also, uh, if you want to add a little bit more depth, there's a little, it looks like they fit around in the centers of these. Oh, that's pretty. Isn't that fun when you just add a little more texture to something, how it just makes it pop a little bit more. How fun is that? Can you tell the difference there? Me, you, Teresa, what, you want to be a part of my kit club? <laughs> um, I will let people know when my kit club, um, when we're done with our rotation and I need new people. Um, it's a great thing to be part of a club and then you get to stamp on a regular basis and see me on a regular basis, which I love. Um, I think this has a leaf too. Yeah, it has leaves. Let's see, with the Coastal Cabana, what kind of color leaves do I want? I think I'm going to go with light this time. Soft Sea Foam is one of my favorite light greens. It's almost a neutral. I'm going to stamp that. I don't have a whole lot of room for my leaves, but that's all right. It's okay even if it overlaps overlaps with the uh, purple.
And then I think you can add, it has these little, so if you wanted to add the vines in the leaves. I don't know, should I try that? Or not? Uh, maybe with mint. I'm really playing around here, people. Oh, you are talking about being overwhelmed. <laughs> Alright, with the mint macaroon now, I'm doing all kinds of fun colors here. I'm going to stamp the little vines then. And that's fun too. So again, th there's options. You don't have to stamp the vines in there, but they do add a little bit more fun texture to the leaves. That's pretty. I like that. So how fun. And then if I wanted to just add I think I have extras of these, so let me find one of these pretty little pieces. Yeah, because I'm getting six of those circles. There's only four of those the designs, so you get extra pieces. So with this extra piece, I will stamp a Get Well Soon for somebody. You know, maybe I might send it to someone like Teresa who's getting a knee replacement. So, don't be surprised, Teresa, if you get a card just like this. <laughs> um, and how fun and easy is that? And I could add a little bit of um, the ribbon along with it, too. Do a little bow with my purple twine. So again, if you have just a little bit of white cardstock, this is our thick white cardstock. It's a great addition if you want to make simple, easy cards. If you walk around my uh, stamping room, I have lots of examples that just have a regular white card base. Stick a little glue dot on the back of my the center and stick that in the corner there how cute is that shoot there. all right i'm hoping my um my camera doesn't die on you guys it's warned me again it's low okay so was that fun? Did you like seeing some other options of how to use these stamp sets? Again, once you're done with the kit pieces and they give you extra pieces too, you can make a lot more happen with your stamp set. And that one also comes with a celebrating your day, so you could make them all birthday if you wanted. But it does have the get well soon. Um, it also has for a very kind and thoughtful friend, which is a cute saying as well. Um, so, oh. Sorry, I got this kind of messy because I was running it over with my roller chair. <laughs> um, so, exciting news for this month because it's July 1st. It is bonus days. So, with every $50 in your order, if you order this month, so July 1st till the 31st, if you order $100, you'll get two $5 coupons. They will email it to you. So, they will also check that they've got the right email for you. Make sure that email is correct. They will email you a little code. Um, so when you order in August, uh, August 4th till 31st, when our holiday catalog goes live, you will get a coupon in August. Um, again, that's if you order in July. Um, right now, um, the deal that I have and the kits that I'm going to have people over, but you don't necessarily have to come to my house, again, because I've just shown you how easy these all-inclusive kits are. Um, but maybe that's something you'd like to try soon. Um, but if you are a beginner stamper or if you're inviting another stamper to stamp with you who's a beginner, I will be open Monday, July 20, Tuesday, July 21st, and Thursday, July 23rd. And you just book an appointment with me. And I will make sure that there's no more than um, three or four people who come at the same time. 
So I will just help you book a time to come to my house. I'll have things set up. Um, and it's pretty easy because you just bring, um, whether I get the kit mailed to my house and then you just come and you get to stand. Um, and if you get the gorgeous posies kit, there's options. You could order the kit for $32. Um, and then just use my stamp set, or if you really love the stamp set that goes with it, you could order that as well. Um, if you order that stamp set, then you are getting to the $50, and you could get that $5 coupon. Um, or if you want to use my stamp set, but you like both the kits, again, if you get both kits, that's a $64 order, and you'd get a $5 coupon for August. So, um, And again, as I've been showing you guys, there's a lot of cute stuff. So there's lots of options. You don't have to order the kits, um, but right now... Those three days in July, I'll be open to be available for you to come and use my home to stamp and use my ink if you want to do the Gorgeous Posies kit and borrow my um, borrow my stamp set to stamp with me. And then I can help you out. Or invite a friend, like I said. Buy it and have a friend chip in a little bit for you and then you guys could split the kit. Uh, you could do that however you want. And then you and your friend could come over and stamp the kit with me. So... Again, the two two kits that I showed were the gorgeous Posies kit. That's kind of soft, romantic, beautiful purples and pinks um, and the soft seafoam color that I love. Um, and that's the one that you need to get the stamp set in addition to the kit. It is not all inclusive, but it does come in this cute, beautiful, um, I shouldn't say cute, this is just beautiful, gorgeous. Um, little box that you can keep your cards in until you mail them off. And, or the all-inclusive all inclusive kit that has this the bright, summery, fun colors um, that have just a note, hello sunshine, way to go, thanks for being you, and it comes in this box and it has everything you need to put those together. That is the all-inclusive one that comes with the stamps and everything. Um, and right now, if you go to my website, thedrewdaily.stampinup.net, this is the new hostess code that's good through July 15th. So for half of the month, um, when you use this code, ZPVM2ZC4, uh, when you're ordering online, that just um, helps give credit and keeps them together. And um, if you use this hostess code, then I will throw in an extra little goodie for you guys if you order again using this hostess code um, I will throw in an extra free um, accessory of some type so that's where I will talk to you personally because you all might like something different so it's gonna be something I would let you choose um, either some of these um, like in color glue dots, um, maybe it's a ribbon that's your favorite, so we'll talk. If I see that you've ordered and used this hostess code for July, um, you'll you'll earn a $5 coupon with a $50 order, but if you order $30 or more, I'll talk to you and you're going to be getting just a free gift from me just to say thank you, because I love you guys, I'm so appreciative. And July, August, and September, this is my last quarter to try to earn the cruise. So I so appreciate your sales, your orders, um, your notes and your encouragement. Um, I really do appreciate it because I, I'm, I'm still pretty far behind, so I don't think I'm going to earn it, but <laughs> I'm not giving up hope yet. So, um, yes, Holly, thank you for your order already. You're my first, um, and you used the, you, you did use the hostess code, right? So, um, I will be talking to you about what, little free gift you would like uh, again as a thank you from me so um, so thank you all oh I, I knew there was something else one of you is gonna work win this kit hey boys can one of you come here and help me Colt or Sam can you co come here please oh I just showed you all my mess I didn't I didn't intend to do that. <laughs> My husband is always like I gave you all these shelves. How do you have stuff all over the place? It's creative creative mess, right? Okay. 
Colt, my nine-year-old, is going to pull out the winner of the celebration kit. If you can re read the name. Stephanie S. Stephanie! All right. Stephanie, you win the this beautiful card kit that has extra vellum pieces um, from Celebration. So, thank you. Yes, thank you, sweetie. Um, awesome. So, Stephanie, yay! You win the extra free kit. Um, again, thank you to everyone who has ordered in the past, who is ordering. Um, those of you who just come by to watch my videos, I appreciate it so much. And, uh, Yes, I know, Holly, you got that one at my open house, and you already put those together, too. You're, you're rocking and rolling. I love it. <laughs> um, so use my hostess code. I will post that um, on my page as well so you know what the hostess code is. From July 1st to 15th, if you order at least $30, um, then you'll get a little free gift from me that I'll let you choose, some kind of accessory. Um, or if you order $50, you'll also get a free gift from me still, but you also get a $5 coupon to use in August. So, oh great, Holly, that makes me so happy to, to hear you say that it's therapeutic. It is definitely therapy for me. And however, I do most of my therapy at like midnight to three in the morning, <laughs> um, when I have kids here during the day and stuff, it's just harder to get in here during the day, but I make it happen because yes, it's so, it is, it's therapeutic. I love it. So. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed seeing some extra little alternative things you can do with these cute kits. Um, Stampin' Up! has really upped their game with their great kits. I love them. So, you guys have a great day. Talk to you later. Thanks for coming. Bye.